support, sense of humour, confidence and brave. It was an unusual step for a girl to take. And, and, and there was no others around that I knew of that I could sort of ask. So that was it, she was on her own. I had personal doubts uh, that, um, that, that she was doing the right thing. Women are very ambitious when they get the opportunity. When I was at school, I originally wanted to be a mechanic. And at the start of Year 9, we got to choose our electives. And I chose metalwork automotive, thinking oh, I could probably get in and do a couple of lawnmower engines. And when I started, my class teacher got us to a bit of welding with an oxyacetylene welder. And I loved it. And from that point, he told me to go to TAFE and do a thermal welding, cutting and MIG welding course. So I went and did that and absolutely adored it. Some of the difficulties of coming into such a male dominated trade really was the fact that, none of, that I was the only girl and coming into a male area, I needed to accept the fact that no one was gonna change because I was here. Um, some of the things that I personally found difficult was um, the couple of sexist remarks like, oh, you can't do that because you're a girl. You can't, like, you can't lift that, you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, you can, and it takes a bit of effort, like anything does, but you can get through there. Even the blokes that I work with, sometimes they ask for help to lift something. Do, if you can't do something, don't push yourself and hurt yourself just to prove a point. If you can't do it, ask for help. I'm not weird. I love metal work. I love my job. And I do have a boyfriend and I do have a normal life. And outside of work, I don't dress like a man all the time. I, I do on, on the weekends and if I, must, if I have to go out, I do dress up and look like a girl. And people think that just because you're in a man's job that you're gonna be manly. And that's not true. You might have a few more muscles than most cows and your hands might be a bit rougher, but it's all part of it. Proudest punch of her. <laughs> Couldn't be prouder. She, um, she, um, well, she'd be a big, big head now if I say too much more. <laughs> She's a qualified boiler maker. She's a qualified draftsman. So it looks like she's done the right thing. She's got her own. She's got her own path now. <laughs> she, she can do what she likes now, you know. I mean, she. The, the world's at her feet. They're screaming for blasted artisans. And, and, and she's got that behind her, and she's still only 22. So, I mean, she's got the world at her feet. She, she can do what she likes, when she likes, how she likes. <laughs> I love mostly getting a pile of steel and that is rusty, like you can see around here, and turn it into, turn it into something. You have a pile of steel and then you turn it into something of use, something that makes something else work. It's a factor I like making my wells incredibly shiny. I don't know if that's just because I'm a girl or... <laughs> but I like making things look beautiful after I've made them. It's a point of pride. 